65 days a year. That's almost every single day, too. Trust me, I've done the math. Now, just over here on the left-hand side, you will see the beautiful Inspiration Falls. Everybody always asks me, why do you call it Inspiration Falls? Why? Why do you call it Inspiration oh, no, no, Falls? No, no,
friendly an animal here in the jungle. They can run up to about 30 miles an hour. It's pretty amazing. There's nothing else like it. It's really cool, actually. Now, anyway, I just want to point out a few of my favorite plants for the educational part of the cruise. Any questions? Okay, anybody name those plants for us? Common mistake. No, but I will show you. It's okay, and then you can tell all your friends. Okay. Up there, that is high biscuit. Down there, the one that's confused with the front, that is low biscuit. There in the middle, that is middle biscuit. Biscuit. Very close. Medium biscuit. Yeah. Uh, that's like the cousin to the middle biscuit. Uh, that one there with the bark, that is dog biscuit. Uh, and that one there in the water, that is sea biscuit. I know, you learn something new every day. It's pretty cool. It really is. Uh, I also want to thank one of our sponsors here at Jungle Cruise, Animal Crackers. Teaching kids all over the world that all animals taste the same. <laughs> Delicious, especially the ones covered in the pink and white frosting and the sprinkles. Those are really good, right? <laughs> now, anyway, I also want to thank Miracle Boat Company, okay? Because of the engines like this one on this boat, it is a miracle if you make it around the river one time. And trust me, it was a miracle. It really was. Yeah. Now, uh, just by a show of hands, how many of you woke up this morning and you were like, Jungle Cruise, gotta do it. Okay, so uh, how many hours did you guys cry for? None? Okay, I'm still crying on the inside. Yeah, no, I woke up the same way this morning. I was like, Jungle Cruise, gotta do it. Yeah, got to do it. Yeah. Uh, now, if you guys choose to pass by the Jungle Cruise later, trust me, I will understand, okay? Uh, but I will be around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. And around. Do you ever have a job where you just feel like you're going in circles? Yeah, me too, really. Just make sure you guys come by and save me sometime, though, okay? I mean, see me, see me, come by and see me, please save me, please. Okay, now just over here on the left-hand side, you will see Trader Sam. Everybody say hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. Now, uh, Sam is our head salesman here in the jungle, but you know, lately sales have been shrinking. But Sam has a deal to make for you guys. Two of his bags for one of yours. Any takers? Guys, you really better consider that deal. Competition's really cut out here in the jungle. But, you know, all things aside, Sam is a really great guy. He actually invited me over for dinner the other evening. Yeah, but I was 20 minutes late, so as soon as I got there, all I got was cold shoulder. Mm -hmm. uh, Nothing was left but a bit of finger foods. It was actually really disappointing. Uh, but I did get to try some of the stew that his wife made, and I said, Sam, your wife makes an amazing stew. And he said, yeah, but I'm really going to miss her. <laughs> I also said, Sam, I do not care for your brother whatsoever. And he said, oh, no, then just try the noodles. <laughs> a lot of people have to take them with a grain of salt, though. And pepper. Uh, now, I guess there is some food for thought. If people who eat vegetables are a vegetarian, does that make Sam like a humanitarian? <laughs> am I right or am I right? Trick question. I'm always right. That's what I tell my boyfriend. If I have one. <laughs> now, anyway, uh, when and if we make it up to the dock, those of you on this side, you will exit through that back door. Those of you on this side, you will exit through that front door. Nobody go through any of the windows, though. That's a very shattering experience, and I shudder at the thought of that. And you really don't want to experience that kind of window pain anyway. So, yeah. Um, also, those of you on this side, do you see the crates in the middle? Do not cross those crates. Do you know why you shouldn't cross those crates? Because I'm going to ask you to cross back. And that will make you guys double crossers. And no one will ever trust you again. Plus, you know, crossing over is more of a haunted mansion thing. And, you know, we really like to keep those two things separate. I know I do, so <laughs> makes for a really awkward cruise. Did you know that they have 999 ghosts over there? That's pretty odd if you ask me, but I can't even, so. Yeah. Oh, hey, make sure that you guys remain hydrated throughout the day. You can go to any quick service location here at Magic Kingdom and get a free cup of ice water. I know, free at Disney. It's crazy, but it is true. <laughs> Just tell them that Skipper Courtney sent you. Uh, and they probably will not know who I am, but you might get a free straw out of the deal. You never know, guys. This is the place where dreams come true. It's true. Also, the place I like to call work, so that is the same thing. Yeah, yeah now anyway, we are making the most dangerous part of our journey, and that is the return to civilization. So just remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs, head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, knees, and toes, inside the boat. Now, um, guys, I know that we have spent a lot of time on
on the Jungle Cruise today. And, I mean, I, I guess that makes us kind of close, right? Uh, I guess it means we're like a family now, really. But, uh, you know, just like my family, consent is 12 minutes and a small space is usually enough. So, get on, wash your stuff. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. It was really rude. Sorry, please. Get out. Step right out this way, please.